Joe from County Kerry very kindly got in touch and gave me this pipe. It's heavy and solid and perfect for making the wheels and the pulleys and other things I'm going to need for my charcoal project. So thanks very much, Joe. But I need a way to cut slices off the end. Now I could just draw a line around it and try to cut it cleanly with an angle grinder. But this first project is for a pulley wheel which will be spinning at 600 RPM. So it would be better if it didn't have any wobbles in it. My plan is really simple. Just sit the pipe on some casters so it can be rotated and then bring up an angle grinder to meet it while it goes around. Easy, huh? Well, yes, it was quite easy, but <laughs> there's another challenge to overcome. With a crude setup like this, the rotating pipe won't just go round and round, it will also walk forwards, or backwards even. <laughs> so in theory, I'd end up with a spiral, which would be no good at all. So I need to stop that forward creep somehow. If even one end of the pipe was clean cut, I could use that as a guide. But both ends have been cut um, artistically. <laughs> so if I used either as a guide, I just copy the wobbles. So Will and I used a length of thin plywood to give us a straight edge. Setting up this square was a little tricky because we could only eye it up. There was no fixed reference point to go on, but we strapped it on tight and hoped nothing would move while it was being used. Now this false end can bear against another caster and this way the pipe should stay in the same place and just go round and round. <laughs> Is it? Well, <laughs> would it come back up to meet it? Okay, so this way. It's supposed to be Still coming. It doesn't do much. Here. We tipped the whole arrangement up slightly so there wasn't too much pressure on the plywood, but finding the right incline proved counterintuitive because the steeper the slope, the more the pipe wanted to walk uphill. It's climbing more because we made it steeper. How bizarre. You might have made a perpetual motion machine. Hmm. We kept experimenting until the pipe engaged just enough to keep the caster spinning. The first cut was just to true up the end, and it went fine. The walls are eight millimeters thick though, so there was quite a bit of cutting, but the pipe stayed in the right place. But it's not bad, it's looking really quite good, yeah. It almost looks like a lathe job. <laughs> it is a lathe, you are a lathe. <laughs> but then we got down to the lining of the pipe, which seems to be a really tough layer of resinous cement of some sort, and the cutting disc didn't like that at all. But eventually we got all the way through, and of course the camera shut down at the critical moment. I'm still saving up for a different camera, but in the meantime, this one is a pain. <laughs> but anyway, the cut itself was nice and neat, so we moved the pipe up a bit and started cutting again. And that went even better. So I think I have a working pipe cutting machine for the price of a few casters and a couple of hinges. Not bad, huh?
pretty straight or even very straight and here's the first ring Ray! not coming off well hmm. the next step for this is to weld some spokes and hubs into it to turn it into a pulley wheel for making a wood chipping machine but for that the lining inside the pipe would be a problem it would be in the way for the welding so I tried to knock it out I was hoping I wouldn't have to grind it out because that would be a horrible and messy job but in the end it just kind of gave up and fell out satisfyingly yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. what's the fuss about then? that's brilliant easy <laughs> So now I'm all set for the next step, making a pulley wheel. So exciting. <laughs>